So I have come to the sad realization that I have been ego lifting on my squats for like, I don't know, two years, pretty much since I started doing a whole lot of squats, I guess almost three years now. And uh, it's time to make a change because I wanna get the most out of my exercises. But before we get started, let me know down in the comments if there are any lifts that you've realized in the past that you've been ego lifting on, and I'll tell you how it worked out for me. Over the last month, I've been listening to Dr. Mike Isratel from Renaissance Periodization a lot, and he talks a lot about full range of motion. Last year, towards the end of my bulk in July, when I was up to around 190 pounds, and I wanted to get 315, and I was like, yeah, I got 315 for five. And I remember posting this and people saying, that's not even parallel, and I was looking, and I'd pause it like, yeah, it's pretty close though. And see how high the bar is off the safety rail. I was using that as a guide to try to get lower, at least to parallel. And looking back now, it's like, yeah, that just was enough. I'm just doing too much weight, more than I can handle. Just wanting to hit a number. I could definitely felt it in my legs. I felt a lot in my joints too, but you know, not quite right. So I started going back through some of my other lifts and this was 275 for six reps back in February of last year. And uh, same thing, I thought I was getting to parallel, which was my goal, and looking in the mirror, but it just wasn't quite there, even though I thought it was. And going back even further, this was a year before that, almost in March, doing 205 for 10 when I was just doing higher rep sets. And yeah, it's just not quite to parallel. I remember doing this to see, and I pause and think, yeah, that's pretty much parallel, it's good enough. And here's the thing, you can do this, like. I remember when I started doing squats back in August of 2020, I was only doing like 110, 115 pounds to just get into it. And I was doing front squats to try to keep my back straight because I actually have back issues. That was one of the reasons I really wanted to make sure I didn't go below parallel because then that just puts all kinds of extra stress on my hips and my lower back and didn't want to screw it up because when my back gets thrown out, I'm out for like two weeks, not really being able to do anything. Even bench pressing hurts just from laying there and bracing my core. And I might be able to do just some accessory movements, but it really messes me up in my progress. So I figure, you know, why not just go a little higher than most people do, keep my back healthy. And you can see here, like my quads grew a lot. So you don't have to go to depth to do it, but I was chasing numbers too, trying to get up those higher and higher numbers because, hey, I wanna squat three plates. It looks cool, it means you're strong and whatnot. And I actually remember in August of last year, looking back at that 315 squat and saying, I need to get deeper. I'm just gonna drop the weight some and practice getting deeper. So I got 275 on the bar, started doing squats, looking in the mirror, making sure I get lower. And you can see it's pretty close here. I mean, I would say that's parallel, but the problem was I wasn't consistent. If I was tired one day, I might not be going down as low when I would record myself. I'd see different depths that I was doing. And it's hard to track your progress if you're not consistent, if you're not doing a full range of motion, well, how do you know you're really getting stronger or whatnot? And my hips were hurting because, like I said, I wasn't actually strong enough to get the weight through the full range of motion. And then this was just last month, I was at 280 pounds on the squat, trying to make sure I'm getting deep enough still, and I just wasn't really liking what I was seeing. This doesn't even look as deep as the 275 was six months prior. So I had to think about, who am I really trying to impress? Because my goal is to grow my muscles, right? So if I want to keep my joints healthy, if I want them to grow, I don't actually need to hit 315 pounds for however many reps, because in the end, no one really cares except me. You know, if someone sees me at the gym doing 315 and not even getting a parallel, they're like, that guy's probably got more weight on than he needs. And I don't want to be that guy that's not doing exercises right. Because when I see other people doing them wrong, I'm like, I want to help them but I also don't wanna be the guy that's annoying and thinks he knows everything, because I definitely don't, but I can definitely fix me. That's why I suggest you record yourself, not just for vanity, but to track and see, you know, how much am I doing right or wrong? It's hard to tell if you're doing something wrong until you actually see it, and when you see it consistently, like all those shots I was able to look at, makes a big difference. So how to fix this? I decided I'm gonna take my safety rails, drop them down a lot lower, see how far I can get comfortably, cause still I've got the lower back issues. I'm not gonna to touch my butt to the ground, get as low as possible just to do it. But I do wanna get below parallel consistently and really get a good stretch. So I start with just the bar, my warm-ups like I normally did, really slow controlled reps. Each rep I'm thinking, 
Okay, brace your core, keep your back straight, don't let your butt tuck under, and I was consistently getting below parallel, nothing was hurting. You see that there? To me, that is plenty low enough. I got a couple inches maybe between the rail and my bar, so I've got a good gauge to see that off of, and I pretty much would go down to like, felt like I couldn't go anymore. Just feeling comfortable, so then I moved up to 135. My next warm up set, make sure I can hit the same depth. First couple reps, I was having to get used to the extra weight on my back, but then getting down to the right depth. You can see there, my hips are below my knees, so I'm below parallel, and uh, everything was feeling good. So I went up to my heavier sets, and this is where I had to take the ego out of it, because I was doing you know, 275, 285 before, and now I dropped it down to 225, because my goal is to get the form down, really feel the movement, make sure my back stands straight, making sure my hips are getting below my knees. You can see here, I'm getting a good stretch there. It's as far as my body will pretty much let me go. Maybe as I get more flexible, I'm gonna to try to stretch more in the future. I might be able to get a little bit lower, but this was plenty for me. It was feeling good. I'm trying to control it, not just drop down fast and come up, but brace everything, go down, hit the bottom, come back up, keep the form good, not let my knees cave in. I'm trying to focus on every part of the lift here and really lock in this form. And also just checking for imbalances and stuff because when I get the different angles, like here, it looks like I'm favoring my right leg a little more, and that might be why some of my hip issues are happening, or maybe that's because my back is somewhat crooked, but I can definitely see I'm leaning a little more towards my right leg, so I'm gonna try to give myself some cues in the mirror to make sure my butt goes a little bit to the left to keep everything symmetrical and not hurt, because if you're crooked with a bunch of weight on your back at the bottom of the squat and pushing up, that's putting even more stress on whatever point is off balance, and that's not good. Definitely recommend seeing the chiropractor consistently if you're doing heavy weight lifting, because the weight will come back eventually. I gotta make sure good form, I'm not hurting myself here. And I drop the weight down one more time to 185 to just keep hitting more and more reps, cementing that in, getting that depth in, and I feel like uh, it's working pretty well. That's pretty low for me. My hips weren't hurting, everything was good, and I could really feel a stretch there, like especially in that last, like, the, right from my hip to here, my quads, I could really feel it starting to burn even more there, which I felt my quads burn normally when I'm doing a bunch of squats, especially high reps, but all the way up to my hip, not so much, so who knows, maybe that part's gonna grow even more, and the quads will look bigger just because of that. Did a drop set just to keep cementing that new technique in, and it felt pretty good, like my legs were burning really bad. All I did were just squats, a bunch of reps of squats on this, and then went to my leg extensions and leg curls. Accessory lifts, I didn't do any other things like leg presses or uh, lunges or anything like that, because my legs were pretty fried after doing this. And the great thing is you can build a lot of muscle even with lighter weights. Progressive overload doesn't just have to constantly be more weight, more weight, more weight. You can do slower reps. You can do deeper reps like this. So I'm making this exercise more difficult for myself. And with my bad back, it makes more sense to do this anyways. Use lighter weight, get a greater range of motion, and stretch everything out too because my legs get really tight, my back starts to hurt. My hips are actually quite sore today, I guess from using muscles I'm not used to, so I'm glad that I start doing this with a lot less weight so that I don't injure myself. But hopefully that soreness will go away after I do this for a while. My plan is just stay at these same weights, same rep ranges, for about a month to really lock in the technique, make sure everything feels good, make sure I'm not getting hurt, and then I'll slowly start adding weight again, maybe only five pounds a month even, just to not push myself too hard, make sure I'm not shortchanging myself and doing shallower and shallower reps, but really keep uh, getting that good squat in and get the most out of the exercise. So stay tuned if you're interested to see the progress over uh, the rest of the year because I'm interested to see how far I can get my squat up with this new depth. You know, obviously I'm gonna try to keep my ego in check. I'm gonna keep doing videos. You can check me out on Instagram at Canberra Fitness to see the progress because I like to post what I do there on my various lifts. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you struggle with anything like this or if you've realized that you've been ego lifting, but uh, I'll see you in the next one.